Hi guys, in this video, we are going to check out the 10 best things to do in Illinois. Nicknamed the Prairie State is a vacation destination with endless possibilities. There is something for everyone, from rolling hills to towering skyscrapers. With its name coming from the Illinois River, the state is as diverse as it gets and the leading corn producer in the U.S. A lot of people refer to Illinois as the land of Lincoln because it is where America's 16th president, Lincoln, began his political career. Despite having many charming towns and state parks, it's dominated by Chicago, the Windy City. Here are some of the best things to do in Illinois to get you started, but first don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Take a kayak tour of Chicago's waterfront. Boat tours in Chicago are perfect for those who want to relax on the water. Located on the newly renovated Chicago Riverwalk in downtown, Kayak Chicago offers kayaking tours through the city's waterways for a unique perspective of the city. Tour options include architecture tours, fireworks tours to Navy Pier, city lights tours, and more. Taking in the magnificent scenery along the Riverside Promenade, you'll see landmark buildings reflecting in the shimmering waters. You can explore the largest system of movable bridges in the world as you pass under a series of articulated ironwork bridges. You'll see some of America's greatest 20th and 21st century architecture, including the Willis Tower. You can rent a kayak at Chicago Riverwalk or Lakefront at Monroe Harbor and enjoy kayaking on the Chicago River. Kayak tours, stand-up paddleboard rentals, lessons, and yoga classes are all offered at this lakefront location. Watch the sunrise or sunset in the Garden of the Gods. With more than 3,300 acres of stunning landscapes and miles of trails, the Garden of the Gods is a peaceful escape. The Observation Trail offers breathtaking views of the sun setting over Shawnee Forest. At Mesa Overlook, an awesome sunrise can be seen. There is something majestic about Pikes Peak and Gardens of the Gods together. There are beautiful rock formations in this area, and there is an awe-inspiring feeling when you walk through them. It is simply breathtaking to see the landscape Hiking also offers the opportunity to observe wildlife. Grand View Drive, Peoria. Originally built in 1906, Grand View Drive is a scenic road through Peoria. It stretches over two and a half miles. If you're looking for a cheap and fun way to get around the area, Grand View Drive is the road to take. There are luxurious, historic homes in this neighborhood, as well as breathtaking views of the Illinois River. Along with the drive, there is a paved sidewalk for hiking. There is also the opportunity to stay because the drag is situated within a park. There are also playgrounds and picnic areas for children to enjoy. Go scuba diving at Mermet Springs. At Mermet Springs, you'll find a full-service diving and training center for scuba diving. In addition to offering scuba instruction on-site, Mermet Springs operates a full-service diving site and a scuba training facility. You can scuba dive anywhere in the world, but only Mermet Springs can offer such fun attractions as an underwater petting zoo, a railroad coal car, a submarine, Bruce the Shark, a motorcycle, a semi-truck international, a cabin cruiser boat, a fire truck, an ambulance, a Cessna aircraft, and a sunken 727 Boeing airplane to the scuba diver. You can rent gear or bring your own gear, and there is also the option of taking classes. Enjoy nature at the Chicago Botanic Garden. It's one of the United States' largest and most popular botanical gardens. There are more than 2 million plants spread out over 385 acres of the Chicago Botanical Garden. 
Its unique location with six miles of lake shoreline and around nine islands attracts over one million visitors every year. There are 28 gardens and four natural areas in the garden. The self-guided tours allow visitors to explore the Chicago Botanic Garden in greater depth. The garden was a beautiful place to visit 50 years ago, but now it's one of the world's greatest living museums and conservation science centers. In addition to numerous events and spectacular flowers, this paradise houses a renowned collection of bonsai trees. Hike the gorgeous waterfalls of Starved Rock State Park. There is nothing like it in Illinois. Spring and heavy rains are the best times to see these amazing waterfalls. Besides its natural beauty and magnificent waterfalls, Starved Rock State Park has 13 miles of trails to discover, as well as great fishing and boating opportunities. Kaskaskia Falls can be reached by walking four miles on the Riverside Trail or by driving part of the way to park in the designated area near the Waterfall Canyon. Approximately two miles from the visitor center are the LaSalle Canyon Falls. It's only half a mile to the waterfall from there. As you travel from the visitor center out and back along the river trail, you will pass several other beautiful starved rock canyons and the Illinois Dam. There's another 1.5-mile trail leading from the visitor center to these Stud Lewis Canyon Falls. If you're looking for a shorter hike, you can park your car at Stud Lewis Canyon. Just south of Route 178, you'll find this parking lot. You will need to hike approximately 10 to 15 minutes from the canyon to get there. Learn about the world at the Museum of Science and Industry. It's located in Jackson Park, in the High Park neighborhood between Lake Michigan and the University of Chicago. The museum is situated in the former Palace of Fine Arts from the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition. There are more than 35,000 artifacts on display over 14 acres, making the museum worth visiting over and over again. It's no wonder that this museum is one of the most popular attractions to see in Chicago. You can walk down a coal mine, view a real submarine, discover more about storms, visit a fairy castle, and learn more about your body at the Museum of Science and Industry. A minimum of two hours is highly recommended, but one could easily spend four to five hours. Get your adrenaline pumping at Grafton Zipline Adventure. On the Grafton Zipline, you'll soar over the treetops, feeling the wind rush through your hair. There are seven ziplines at Grafton Zipline, with the longest run at 2,000 feet, the fastest at 45 miles per hour, and together they descend 250 feet in a row. This zipline combines fun and safety to make it the perfect attraction for the whole family. Take the family for a ride like no other. There's nothing quite like the Grafton Zipline for a thrilling experience in the canopy of a tree. This one-of-a-kind experience combines a stunning view, a couple of rope bridges, trails, and a surprise ending. View the confluence of the Mississippi and Illinois rivers in a unique way. You will enjoy it. Starting from 14 West Main Street in downtown Grafton, opposite Grove Memorial Park, the adventure begins. Those who want to relax on the ground can also enjoy a restaurant and winery on site. Stay in a tree house at Timber Ridge Outpost and Cabins. There is no better place to do that than an isolated cabin in the woods where you can just relax or go hiking. Timber Ridge cabins are all separated from one another, so you won't have to worry about being too close to others. You can also rent a house on an acreage if you want even more privacy. There are 35 acres of private land in Walnut Hill, 60 prairie houses, and four acres in Pine Ridge. If you need a break from everything, this is the place for you. There are numerous hiking trails and outdoor activities in the area, or you can simply relax and unwind. 
The tree houses and all of the other units are fully equipped, including a bathroom, kitchenette, heating, air conditioning, and satellite TV. You can also spend your days discovering the many wonders of the Shawnee National Forest, including the Garden of the Gods, Rim Rock, Pounds Hollow, and Cave in Rock. Stand on the Skydeck Chicago Ledge. Located on the former Sears Tower, now known as Willis Tower, the Chicago Skydeck is the highest observation deck in the West U.S. You can get a bird's eye view of Chicago from 1,353 feet above the ground by standing on the enclosed glass ledge. A glass balcony extends four feet outside the 103rd floor of Willis Tower, offering spectacular views spanning up to four states. You'll get the best experience just after opening in the morning or after sunset. If you want to see a great sunset and twinkling nightscape, get to the Skydeck 30 to 45 minutes before sunset. In the end, don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon, share the video, also leave your valuable comment below. See you at the next one.